Our story begins in the Rashtil Expanse, where the wind races across empty plains. It is a sad, hostile land, a wild frontier and a gateway to lands unknown. In ages past, Rashtil had a heart, the city-state of Ascalia, ruled by the great house Loran. Indeed, over centuries, it came to be known as the Gem in the Realms, earning respect from all races under the sun. But the Crusades changed that. Attracting the ire of its neighbors, Ascalia was lost to the flames of war. With its marble bones laid to rest, the city has slept ever since, until now. In a distant country, a father lies on his deathbed. For his entire life, he has kept a secret. Yet now, the truth is finally revealed. His only son, Kay, learns that Ascalia belongs to his family, the noble house Loren. As the sole remaining heir, it is his destiny to face that heritage, to restore the ancestral kingdom. Aided by his two sisters and a trusty bodyguard, Young K sets out on a journey to the Rashtil Expanse, to Ascalia. The legend is about to be retold. And so, on a promise made on the father's dying breath, our hero arrives to fulfill his destiny. For great justice! Wait, but that's not our hero. This is our hero. I can't feel my legs. Steal yourself, young master. We're almost at the castle. Right. <laughs> this place is a mess. Not quite what I was expecting. Ah, but surely you aim to restore this place to glory, young master. You are, after all, its rightful ruler. Well... What a terrible, terrible dump. Glorious kingdom, my ass. Remind me, whose idea was it to come here again? Actually, I'm pretty sure both of you insisted. Come on, sis, isn't this exciting? It's like we're heroes of a book on an adventure or something. <sighs> well, I suppose we may as well try to salvage something from this terrible misunderstanding of a trip. Uh, salvage? Onwards, minions, to the castle. Maybe there's something valuable left, at least. Minions? Not much of an improvement. Ugh, don't remind me. Loot and scoot, boys! Well, at least she has her priorities straight. Look, young master, such exquisite pieces of armor. <laughs> Aha! No, wait. Rat poop. I must say, the inhabitants must have had a remarkable grasp on... What's this, big bro? Just some tea I found in a pot nearby. Tastes like dust and ashes, but, you know, <laughs> it's still tea, right? Wait, what? You do realize that you just poured stuff from an urn, as in literal ashes? Oh, shit. Oh my, 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 <laughs> You, the one with the dire need of a haircut! What have you done to my remains? Well, apparently, I have 
drank them? This is an outrage! My rest interrupted! My remains defiled! Prepare for severe punishment! <laughs> Just kidding. How you doing? I... what? Don't go what on me, son. You're the one who drank my ashes, so you know. Some manners, eh? Maybe an introduction? I... A thing? Do you often wander into other fellas' households, slurping their debtors? Hmm? This is Kay of House Lauren, heir apparent to this revered establishment. Ghost or no, respect is in order. Uh, but... Oh, ho, 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 ho. so you're a Lauren, Sonny. Funny story. That would make me your grandfather. The Cineralis of House Lauren, at your service. Though I imagine being dead limits my options. Is this real life? So, heir apparent, is it? Good for you. I thought you'd be taller and bulkier. And, you know, smarter. And ashy stuff? Big no-no. Rocky start, my boy. Uh, look. Anyway, since I'm already here, might as well help you get right on track, hmm? Fetch me the customer. Oh, joy. I don't think there's one left around. Bullshit, son. We Laurens are proud folk. And this... this... Oh... Uh. Oh. Just what the hell happened here? This place is a dump! At least he agrees, of all people. Seriously, what have you people done to the castle? Is it that bad? What about the village? This ain't right. This ain't right at all. But you're the heir. You'll be putting all of this back together? Well... Indeed, noble spirit. As we live and breathe, we shall see to it that young master will bring, uh, uh, hmm. Look, I'm sorry about the ashes, and I appreciate the offer, I really do. But we came here looking for a family estate, not ghosts and ruins. Nobody expected this. This is crazy. But you're the heir. Sorry, this just won't work out. What? I must... Wait, where are you going? Kay! Kay. Wait, you lot! I ain't done with you! Ugh. Kids these days! Oh, hey guys. What was that all about? I... needed to collect my thoughts. Sure looked like a temper tantrum to me. It's just too much, you know? One day we're heirs to an ancient city, then it turns out that there's nothing left standing and that the whole errand was pointless. And last but not least, there's a crazy ghost who wants us, me, to rebuild this place as if I'm some sort of king. You do know you kind of stepped into that one yourself. So what is your plan, young master? We're leaving this place. But... We're not heroes. We may be of House Lauren, but so what? This place is ancient history, nothing more. Did someone say House Lauren? Well met. With whom do I have the pleasure? How rude to demand the name of another before introducing oneself. Very well. The lady has a point. Walter Crucy, I represent the Furtive Union. The Furtive Union? I take it you are not familiar with our organization, then? Speaking concisely, we are men of business. Sometimes we invest, sometimes we lend. But mostly, we reclaim goods deemed impossible to vindicate. So you're debt collectors? Correct, more or less. But that still leaves us in the dark over your identity. Or your rather puzzling presence in this godsforsaken place. You were not supposed to be here. 
well... I do not like your tone. This is Kay, heir to House Lauren, inheritor of Ascalia, the rightful master of this city. If anyone remains the intruder, it is your entourage, Mr. Crucy. Is that true? You are the heir, young man? By the gods, Griffith. You would doubt our word? Interesting. That is an excellent turn of events. We shall kill two birds with one stone. Oh? Regretfully, I have to inform you that your holdings and possessions back home have been... confiscated. What? What? How the hell? If you truly are Kay of House Lauren, then by virtue of law, you have also inherited the obligations placed upon this land. Monetary obligations. Obligations? In short, your ancestors have left you a rather staggering debt, my lord. Show me. What? How is that even possible? The zeros need a separate sticker to fit on paper. I am afraid that for all their prestige and renown, your grandsires appear to have been rather indulgent people, my lord. Shall we proceed with the execution? But... but I don't have that kind of money. That is unfortunate. Also ironic, given their wealth of history. I can't believe it! All of this, the whole city, lost because of a debt? Why, no. It got destroyed during the Crusades. The debt, you see, is an older development. The Crusades? But enough angsting over history. Business first. Let me introduce you to my assistants. Mr. Knight, what are you doing? You will not harm them. Please, we are civilized people. Punching, albeit enjoyable, would give us little benefit, at least for now. The truth remains, however, that you indeed seem unable to procure funds. Thus, I propose a deal. A deal? You are a king right now, young man. Of sorts. Your title still has hold in rash till people respect it. And respect is money. I propose you seize what chance you have. Rebuild this city of yours. Revitalize it. Is this a trick? <laughs> Why would it be? Consider it an investment of trust on our part. And if I refuse? You seem to have misunderstood my position, my lord. It is not an if, not a but, not a maybe. Do it, or payment shall be extracted through different means. Considerably less pleasurable, if I may add. <laughs> Big bro. I am a reasonable man. We shall split the debts into parts, each to be paid in regular intervals. Would that be acceptable? You're asking us to do the impossible! No, we are asking you to do the improbable. But this is a chance now. One surely worth taking. I urge you to act as soon as possible. Time is money, and you cannot afford to waste it, my lord. And this is our cue to leave. The accord has been reached, nothing else remains to be said. Soon, I will contact you through mail. I bid you farewell. But this is insane! The deadline is approaching. Tick tock, tick tock. Are you all right, big bro? Give me a minute. Okay. Thoughts? Isn't it obvious? It's not like we have any other options. Yeah. Did... Did they really sell Dad's estate? That's evil! Does it change anything? 
Wasn't Master K planning to make his ancestors proud anyway? Well, technically... Uh, you know what, never mind. No, go on. How do you feel about this? I'll be honest with you guys. I don't like this one bit. Aside from the debt thing, whoever or whatever should be doing spring cleaning here, it's not me. Not us. But then comes the debt thing. And we don't really have any choice anymore. I hate it. But we must. Damn it. This is so depressing. Annoying, more like. What's the big deal? Can't hurt to try. And you have that alleged grandfather to help us, right? Oh, that's true. I have completely forgotten about him. I do not expect him to be happy about the debt. No, he won't be. But that's not going to be the worst part of the conversation. Ah, uh, oh well. To the castle, then. Off we go to beg and moan. Yay. And that's how it went. Hmm. Nasty buggers, them FUs. So it looks like you'll be needing my help after all, eh? Ah, oh. <laughs> funny how it works. Yes, the irony is not lost on us. Just tell me what to do. Let me see. Hmm. A king ain't a king with no people to lord over, yeah? So that's the first thing. Get someone to move here. Any pair of hands would be a resource right now. Also, perhaps it'd be worth looking into that whole debt business, you know? What do you mean? That loan shark ain't exactly what I'd call the most trustworthy person around. What you got was scraps, and we need facts. Rits, documents, the whole story, my boy. Call me a sentimental dead sod, but I can't imagine my kiddos ruining the kingdom over money. Crusy mentioned wars. Crusades. There you go. Something worth looking into, hmm? Ah, uh, and Sonny, you're not alone. Those sisters of yours, that stern-looking chap, you're all House Lauren. Do not try to think everything through by yourself. You have four heads. Use them. And there's you. Ah, oh, right. About that. I'm hopping in. Huh? Don't harm me, boy. Like it or not, technically, I'm inside you now. Ew. And this means our fates are tied, for now. And believe me, you'll need me. Oh, yes. In other words, you'll be lugging me around wherever you go. Oh, gods. Oh, just kidding. But I appreciate the enthusiasm. My spirit is bound to these walls, likely for good. Not a shame that. I would love to see how the world's changed over all these centuries. What was it like back then, Grandpa? Uh, probably nicer if you don't count the gnomes. I'll tell you some other time. Cool. The gnomes. But the gnomes are still around. They are? <sighs> I knew it, the Business savvy midgets, they don't play you faster than a gambler with a stacked deck! That's great! Irritating and bipolar, I see. Gwen? Now, I may be a racist old codger who has mixed feelings about them gnomes, but they know their stuff, and you do need their stuff. Which is? Surely you've heard. Pretty much everything they touch turns to gold. Then you need gold, no? You're gonna need trade routes, and they're born tradesmen, sonny. If anyone can help you make the coin flow again, it's them. As much as it cramps my spectral butt to say so. I see. Right. Time to get to work. Oh, one more thing. Before you do anything, sonny, have you, uh, taken a good look around? Castle's a mess. Unless you want to be king for dust mites. I'd suggest the four of you grab a mop and declutter it. No way in hell I'm going to clean. I, uh, I'm allergic to dust. Gee, thanks guys. <laughs> what is this place? An armory? Well, well. I think you should look at this, sire. Sire? 
Sire. What? Uh, okay. Coming. What did you find? Wait, a sketch of House Lauren's family tree? That's exactly what we need! Oh, but it's incomplete. Damaged. It's a start, no? What do you mean? Look at it as one looks at a foundation. With this, you get a tangible base to build upon. Questions to answer, people to look for, names to check. A direction, so to speak, which is exactly what we need right now. I am sure that eventually we will be able to fill the blanks ourselves. Uh, you're right. Let's show this to the girls, Griffith. Agreed. And as unenthusiastic as they were, let us hope they have cleaned up the main hall. I'm sure Grandfather would nag them to death otherwise. Oh, by the way, before we go... This seems out of place. Indeed. It does not resemble any of the other armors around the castle. Thoughts? It seems Lord Amarian in origin. Sun symbols everywhere, plenty of ornamentations, highly impractical, perhaps used for ceremonial reasons. In all honesty, it is hard to tell sometimes. Lordamar's knights like it gaudy. Lordamar? The kingdom of Lordamar to the east? Militant sun worshippers? The very same, yes. Why would a Lordamarian armor be locked in here? We're in Rashtil. That's far, far away. A gift from a king, perhaps. Hmm, could be. Uh, think we should do something with it? If it doesn't involve Lady Gwen pawning it off for money, then yes. I was thinking more along the lines of main hall decoration, moving it somewhere more presentable. I do not see why not. All right, hop to it. Sometimes I think you and your sisters are more alike than you imagine, young master. Hey, you're back! How did it go? To be honest, we didn't really clean much, but we found this. What's that? Looks like a family tree. Our family tree, I assume. Yeah. You know, this may actually be useful. We're going to need stuff like this if we want to get to the bottom of this debt business. Our thoughts exactly. Ho <laughs> ho but it's more than that! You can't be narrow-minded in this, boy. It's not just about who borrowed what, you know? If you want to be a king, you need legitimacy. And that means history, lineage, solid facts, everything that constitutes rulership. You may frown upon this, Sonny, but there are folks who buy into this more than they buy into money. It's a chunk of knowledge that will help you in the long run. I agree. If we are to be nobility, we need the bearings of nobility. And if it helps us on more than one front, all the better. But I can't be running around dusting off Chronicles. There are things to do right here, right now. You're not alone in this, big bro. Remember? Let me handle the... Mm, boring ancestry stuff. I'll be digging into documents and family affairs while you do your thing. Which I assume will involve whacking uglies. What about me? What about you? I want to help, too. How about no? I think that's an excellent idea. I'd appreciate it if you two would work on this together. Are you serious? You heard him. Oh, come on, sis. Why the long face? It's going to be fun. Ah, also, I bet your duties will take you all over Rashtil, Sonny. Methinks you should also ask the nice ladies over here to look after the city while you're away. All in all, you're in this together, hmm? As a family. So are you, old fart. Ho oh, ho but I'm dead already. Can I trust you with this, then? Leave it to us. What about you, Griffith? You know my answer. I swore an oath on your father's dying breath that I would not leave your side. I shall follow you in the field, should you call me to do so. Very well. What's our next step? I may have a thing, Kay. While you guys were gone, I took a sightseeing trip around the city. Turns out there are still some people living in the area. Really? Yep. There's an inn near the crossroads, not far away from the gates. I saw light coming from inside, so they're most likely still in business.
Perfect, bro. I'll show you on the map. Ho ho ho! That's excellent news! If anything, you should go and introduce yourself. You're going to be their ruler. Ugh, mingling with peasants. What exactly will this accomplish? Now, now, young lady. A king is nothing without his subjects. Any fool may claim a pile of rubble, but without people, you're just an empty title. Or a tyrant. Oh, my boy. One cannot rule in a vacuum. You need to be a person. Their person. Not just a face on the throne. You may obtain riches and inherit lands, but in the end, true wealth lies in the hearts and minds of your people. You are only as powerful as the respect you command. Never forget this. Respect of my people. Ah, at last! The Patriarch speaks my language. Duty, service, loyalty. We shall forge bonds everlasting. This, I swear. Uh, yeah. What he said. All right, I'm off to the inn. Griffith? At your side. Let's go then. This is the place, young master. Welcome to the placeholder. Can I get you something? Uh, hello. Well met. We would like to speak with the esteemed owner of this fine establishment. Post haste. You're weird. Mister, why does your friend speak like a weirdo? Hmm. Gods, Griffith. You just can't reel it in, can you? I'm sorry. We don't want anything. Thanks. Can we speak with the owner? Sure. What do you need? Wait, wait. I think I'm not getting through. The owner, as in the guy who owns this place? Yep. And that's you? Yep. But you're like, what, 12? Yep. All right, Griffith. You win. Lend me a hand here. You're the owner, then. Are you guys slow or something? What about that menacing gentleman behind the counter? Him? That's my dad. He works here. And? And Co owns the place, I guess. Aha! Thank you. That's what we wanted to hear. Huh, weirdos. Greetings. <clears throat> Are you the owner of this inn? <clears throat> I am Kay of House Lauren. I wanted to inform you that I... <clears throat> Well, uh, the rebuilding, um, please stop staring at me like that. You're freaking me out. <laughs> so, uh, the weather's nice, yes? <laughs> Come on, give me something to work with. <laughs> uh, pretty please? <laughs> oh, for the love- I won't answer, you know. What? Baz never speaks. What do you mean he never speaks? He can't speak? Mm, don't know. I haven't ever heard him utter a word. How does he manage to run a tavern? That girl over there, Rilke, his daughter. She is his lips for all it's worth. I noticed he's a little... intense. Yeah, that's Baz. Staring the crap out of people one customer at a time. And you are? Shichirochi. Or just Shichi. I used to fight in the war, and that's where I met Baz. Which war? Does it really matter? Well, we're veterans, good sirs. Spending our retirement running an inn in the ass end of nowhere. Are you also an owner? Eh, no. I'd like to think of myself as a permanent guest who doesn't pay for his drinks. <laughs> and, uh, sometimes sleeps in the basement. So, you're a bum. Hey, some of us quit the war with dignity. Me, I got a hole in my wallet. Also gonorrhea. I see. I take it that the inn doesn't get many visitors. Nope. Supposedly, once upon a time, these crossroads were an oft-traveled trade route. That castle over yonder, heart of Ascalia, the jewel of Reshitul, blah, blah, blah. Long gone now, only roaches and rubble. I'm Kay of House Lauren. Ascalia once belonged to my family. Oh, yeah, indeed. 
You're here to fix things a bit, boy? More or less, yes. <laughs> hear that, Buzz? We got a king over here. Business will flow again. <laughs> well, that's nice and all, but I'm afraid you'll be having some problems getting people to resettle. How so? It's because of the beast! They're afraid of the beast! Ah! What manner of beast are you talking about, young lady? They say it's got three heads, and its eyes are like fire, and it shoots acid out of its rear. Truth be told, uh, no one knows. Huh. But it's true. Something stalks the woods, cutting animals. People are afraid of it. They say they can feel its eyes on their necks as they travel through the forest. Now, I've heard that even elves steer clear of these parts. Yet nobody has ever actually seen this beast. Nope. Sounds like a myth, no? Indeed. Yeah, well, myth or not, it scares people. Besides, you're the top dog around here now, laddie. If anybody should be worried about this, it's you. Hmm. Will you be slaying the beast, good sirs? Indeed we will. If it truly exists, we shall restlessly scour the land until we manage to plant a sword in its squishy yet monstrous forehead. What? Oh, it's so exciting. Can you drop by later and tell us how it went? Papa loves stories. Right, Papa? <laughs> On my honor. Well then, good luck, laddie. Happy hunting. I'll be raising a mug here, hoping for your, eh, uh, non-demise. Now wait a minute. So what exactly are we doing here, Griffith? Looking for the beast. And why are we doing this? To end its reign of terror and bring peace to the land. And what are our chances of the supposed beast appearing? Well, since we are in fact chatting casually in the middle of a seemingly lifeless forest, given the laws of narrative probability, I would say... It happens now! Get ready, young master! What the hell? That our beast, Griffith? No, there's no way. You were saying? On second thought. The fabled beast appears to have slowed down. She doesn't look like a bandit, or a beast for that matter. Why would she be terrorizing the locals? I do not think we can expect civil reasoning from her, sire. I would suggest caution in your attempts to communicate. You win. You speak. There are no words between predator and prey, yes? In defeat, our roles are reversed. If words are shared, it shall be so, by your choosing. What? Are you the beast that stalks Rashtil? Rashtil? Such a name is unknown to me. You speak of names, of names that impose boundaries, but these are not mine. We share a sky, but the boundary is not mine. The mark is not mine. The territory is not mine. I understood nothing. Neither did I. Packs, tribes, kin, rights. The Kelra way, our way, my way. To overcome enemies, we become beasts in spirit. I guess that explains the outburst. Sort of. There is strength in such bonds, as in all bonds born out of respect. We take only what is given and never force our way. I still cannot make heads or tails of what you're saying. <sighs> the beast chooses the man, and the man accepts the beast. But it is a process, not an act. Something to claw and strive for. For many days and many nights, many moons that come and go but the exact count is meaningless. One cannot return without finding the right beast. So unless I'm getting utterly confounded here, you're saying you're searching for your beast? Yes. 
and this search brought you here. Just so. I have never heard about this tribe of yours, these Kelra. The turtle and the eagle both share a sky. But though the turtle wonders about the clouds, he will never take flight, yes? Huh? It is a color unknown to your kind, much as yours is unknown to mine. Is she really the same girl who just tried to rip our throats out? But anyway, what does all of this mean? I am sorry, but I can't allow you to run around the woods anymore. I am a lord of sorts, of these lands, and I could really use some popular support. You aren't helping, you know. You need to leave. Then we are at odds. But as the victor, you are within rights to request so. If that is your will. What would happen if you were to abandon your right and go back home? My siblings would devour me whole. Uh, figuratively speaking? No. Young master? I know what you're about to ask me, Griffith, and I'm not sure I'll like it. Come now, we all follow our oaths, and hers seems to be of great import. To her, at the very least. Well, we're in the middle of something ourselves, remember? You're asking me to put her own good above ours. No. I am asking you to be the man your father thought you would always be. Which is? The better man. Eh. Sire. Damn you, Griffith. What if we made a deal? The predator does not barter with prey. He does not want you to be his prey. He wants you to be his partner. Your lion speaks yet confuses. Elaborate. Lion? Come with us. We'll give you shelter and resources, and hopefully it'll help you find your beast. A cage of wood and stone yields no answers. That may be so, but you won't have to stay in one. As a member of my retinue, I expect people to honor your special outdoor privileges. And, uh, small eccentricities. Emphasis on small. No doubt you would price this favor in my strength, yes? What for? You heard it yourself. We need all the hands we can get to rebuild the city. I am sure Master K would be very pleased with such a capable warrior as yourself. I see. Then the boon is granted, and so I will join your pack. I shall follow the duckling and the lion so that together we may fulfill our oaths. Duckling? Really? Why do I get a duckling while you get to be a lion? I have absolutely no idea. Now, uh, the girls. I have a feeling this'll take a long, long while to explain to Gwen. <laughs> huh? Ugh, another miss. Lick clean. Adram, why can't a man make a decent profit anymore? Not that I'm complaining. Maybe the castle would be more fruitful. Hello. Eh? Oh! oh. <laughs> Hello! <clears throat> Hello! Uh, mighty fine weather for a stroll. Am I right? Yep. Are you here for a walk, too? Ah, uh, no. Not precisely. I am on a walk, yes. But it is a different kind of walk. A gilded walk of spreading joy and awe to all whom I may encounter. I am Haksun ibn al-Andoraz, purveyor of goods most wondrous, wandering merchant supreme, and uh, most certainly not one of those street peddlers who would shank you for a stray copper. <laughs> oh, then you must have come to see my brother. I'm afraid uh, your meaning eludes me. But if you pardon me asking, what is a nice young lady like yourself doing in a place like this? I live here. Uh, you live here? As in... here, here? I know. I'm sorry about the mess, but it's a recent thing. My brother just became the lord of that castle. See? Over there! Oh, is that so? <laughs> well, well. Things just got... Very, very interesting. Perhaps there is good money to be made here, after all. <laughs> this is a most fortuitous development. 
I would be delighted to exchange goods with your brother. That is, uh, with your permission, my fair lady. But of course! I'm sure he'll be overjoyed to have you! Ah, splendid! Well then, all that remains is a handshake to cement our joyous agreement. Am I right? Shall we? <laughs> oh, joy. Your tasks will be... No. What does a king want with a drunk like me is beyond me.
caravans? I asked him to get some goods from Minway. The roads aren't exactly safe, but we need trade. And no sane man would dare to mess with one of the gnomish princes. But he's not a merchant prince. Right. Don't tell that to the bandits. You don't seem to like Master Andorus all that much. He is resourceful, I guess. And persistent. Might as well make the most of it. I detect a scathing undertone in your voice, my lady. I'm just a simple merchant, trying to make a living. See? You didn't say honest. Does the quality of my service offend you? Depends if that jar of golden liquid you unpacked three boxes ago truly is a quote-unquote potion for good fortune. <laughs> uh, perhaps an empirical sample is in order. A small discount for my benefactors. Well... Thanks, but no thanks. Shucks! Someone was stowed away in the supplies! Ow, ow, ow! Are you alright? Could be better. You? Oh, I ate toast for breakfast and... What the hell were you doing in a vase? My vase! On my caravan! The girl! Oh, the last thing I need right now is human trafficking charges! What do you think one can do in a vase? You're not going to just talk your way out of this. Who are you? Okay, okay, Miss Pissy. Call me Alice. It, 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 my vase! You violated my vase! <sighs> I didn't violate anything. I hitched a ride. All the way from Minway? That raises disturbing questions. And I suppose you want me to answer them now? So why did you hide in that vase, miss? Fine. Ignore my mask. You'll come begging to me for discounts later. Oh, you know how it is. You stick your head a little out of the crab bucket, and suddenly, everyone's aiming to lop it off. You live, you're bound to make somebody mad. Get enough heat, and it's time to change the ambiance. Wouldn't be the first time, anyway. <sighs> Look, it's complicated. For now, I'm just looking for a place to crash in. No strings attached, no charity involved. Believe me, I can pull my weight. You're awfully keen to lie low, aren't you? Hey, I'm not a criminal if that's what you're getting at. Sis? What are you looking at me for? The decision is not mine. You'll have to talk to our brother about this. Then I will. Hey there, what can I get you? Uh, just some tea, please. Sure thing, give me a sec. Hmm. I sure could use some rest and recreation. Peace, quiet, just what I needed. Ah, yeah. Oh, a new face! What can I get you? Wait, is that a dog? Is he wearing a tutu? Oh my gosh, he's so cute! Oh! <gasps> cute? You think he's cute? So magnificent! I found it after years of searching. The perfect place to set up my workshop. A place where style, dogs, and stylish dogs are truly appreciated. Oh, the blessed day! The hot magma burns with everlasting flames! Um, is everything okay? It could not be better, kind and handsome stranger. Handsome? But where are my manners? My name is Gunther. Well, young man, 
Will you shake my hand as befitting the manly men that we are? Uh, hello, I I'm Kay. <coughs> oh, did it notice you? Good dog, good dog. <coughs> That's Heinrich, isn't he the biggest, cutest bundle of joy? Aren't you, Heinrich? He doesn't look particularly happy about his getup. Nonsense! Heinrich and I have been together since forever. I know his moods better than anyone. We're artists of metal, looking for new inspirations for our trade. Our homeland is sadly a bit... dull in that area. Artists of metal? So you're a blacksmith? I prefer to think of myself as a creator first, and a craftsman second, good sir. Incidentally, the Fraulein over here has convinced me that this is the place. The city where we will be able to enjoy life's finer aspects at last. Frau what? Is that some kind of food? Unbridled creativity! Great minds bending raw materials to their wills! Isn't it exhilarating? Uh, okay. Well, it just so happens that I'm the ruler of this city. We could certainly use a skilled blacksmith. You? Oh! Magnificent! Handsome and influential! <laughs> but if we are to channel our hot passions onto cold steel, we're going to need a decent smithy. Can you arrange that, good sir? Leave it to me. Excellent! <laughs> then we'll stay here until this house of splendors is completed. Oh, I can promise you right now, you're going to have the most wondrous equipment in all of the realms! <laughs> Isn't that right, Heinrich? <laughs> hey there! Hello. I've been told that you wanted to speak with me? Those two blondies brought you up to speed, huh? They're my sisters. Yes, I thought as much. But let's cut to the chase. I'm Alice. I was probably born in Shadu, but it's hard to tell with people like me, as dumb as it sounds. I don't tend to dwell on it, nor do I care. I travel a lot, mostly, and voluntarily. I guess I'm kinda sorta on the run right now. But if there's one thing you should trust about me, it's that I'm not a criminal. Instead... Hold on. What did you mean, people like me? Ah, uh, well. I was getting to that. I was hoping to butter you up before we got to the subject. See, I'm a kindling. <sighs> yeah, this is your cue to scream. Uh, what now? Huh? You don't know? Well then! Basically, she's a natural-born wizard. Normally, magic requires years of practice, discipline, and effort. But every once in a while, a person may be born with a gift. They wield magic like they breathe. Spontaneously. Why have you been eavesdropping? Point is, kindlings get a bad rap, and it's not hard to see why. They're like a sugar-crazed kid with a razor. All the power, none of the limitations. There's plenty of room for things to go wrong. Wow, graphic. I see you've done your research, Miss Pissy. Would you just stop calling me that? At least I don't dress like a cheap stripper. Why, you spoiled little- All right, ladies, let's all take a deep breath here and- Scratch pad. Push up. Circus freak. Aw, oh, you know that last one was weak as shit- Uh, uh, ahem, <clears throat> ladies. Would you please just calm the hell down? Let's go back to that part about you being drunk with unlimited power. That sounds troublesome. I can't speak for other kindlings, or whatever they choose to call themselves. The way I see it, it's just a big, dumb label that attracts way too many kooks. Hell, I spent half my life running away from kooks. 
And I'm tired. I need a breather. Place to kick back for a while and not worry about crazies trying to scout me for no sane reason. That's not criminal, is it? Ah, you want shelter then? That's what I said, yeah. Gwen? Sure, let's invite a literal living bomb under our roof. After all, we already have a canned dead guy and a naked bushwoman. Might as well complete the collection. You're mocking me. No. Ah, uh, I'll have to take a leap of faith here, won't I? Well, it'd certainly be considerably easier to just burn you all. But surely you can see how that wouldn't necessarily turn out to be the wisest choice? Don't you worry. I'm used to having to earn one's trust. I take it I don't need to ask whether you can defend yourself. If I focus hard enough, I can make your head explode. I'll take it as a yes. Well, that's good enough for me. Welcome aboard, Lady Alice. Great. Now, if you excuse me, I think I saw a bearded woman around the corner. Oh, Gwen. I apologize for her. Nah, don't sweat it. She'd grouch herself to death without someone like me. Let's go. You called for me, dearie? Mm, yeah. I could seriously use some help here. Ah, uh, not like I have anything to do. Shoot. Well, we still haven't sorted out all the family paperwork. See this? Gwen tells me it's some kind of ancient script. Maybe even magical. And I thought, you know, you're ancient, right? Do you know anything about this kind of writing? Ancient? Really, my girl, you wound me. Well, at least metaphorically speaking. Ta-ta! Did I mention that I'm hurt, huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to imply you're old, even though, um, you are. Ah, when my age you reach, you'll learn that the subtle distinction between old and really goddamn old becomes extremely important. Oh? What's that? Oh, hello. How are you doing? Grandpa? Oh, <laughs> funny thing, that. It seems there's someone inside already. <laughs> what are we talking about again? What do you mean there's someone inside? The spirit. But not like me. It's cold, distant, asleep in this shell of an armor. It shouldn't be there. But there we go. Sometimes, if the will is strong enough, the dead may remain behind. And there it is. It slumbers. But I can reach out and tug at its essence, stir it once more, help it awaken. Please do. Here he comes. Did it work? Where am I? What is this sensation? Are these my hands? But I should be dead. I am dead. Am I? I refuse to die once. It's all so blurry. Why? Where am I? You. Who are you? Where am I? Explain this strangeness! <laughs> You're one to talk. Ghost. Yes, now it makes sense. Be gone, foul undead. You will not sway me. Oh my. He's adjusting really well, don't you think? Um... Hello? Is everything all right? Am I dead? Eh? Of course you are, just like me. The only difference being that, for some reason, you're inseparable from that golden tin can of yours. Don't know why. What manner of cruel joke is this? Is this your doing, ghost? Ah, <sighs> dead, deaf, what's the difference? Mayhap trickery is afoot. Not really. We found this armor locked in the basement of our castle. Grandpa said your spirit was bound inside. Castle? Yes, sir. Escalia. In the Rashtil Expanse. 
Preposterous! That's impossible! What the what now? So you don't know why you ended up there? Come now, Mr. Knight. Please don't be like that. We're just trying to help. You seek to coddle me, insolent child. I am Lord Azaleus Castel Levant of Lordemar, and you will show proper respect. But... Ho ho ho! Such a spirited ex-individual. I've had enough of your blatant mockery, Spectre. I will cleanse this place. I won't. I will. Falters. What? What is this sorcery? Explain thyself! Ho <laughs> ho! I made you move. Now I can make you stop. Do not overstay your welcome, Sonny. Can't we all just get along? Sure. Do that in your spare time. For now, I'm going to lock this upstanding fella in the basement. Let young Kay sort it out. All right, Goldie. Right, left, right, left. Yeah, leave me be, wretched ghost! I command you to-